Smellman, mind your toe of frog. I've got my potion under control, class Lysandra. Hmm. Hey, I need that. <laughs> Stop copying my potion. Not so fast, half witch. I hate it when she calls me that. Well, you'll just have to finish last. Says who? Hey! Mr. Snipe! Walking Cactus Girl over here isn't playing fair. You know, Sabrina, witchcraft isn't a game to us full witches. You both seem to feel strongly that you know the right way to create this potion. You know, if you would learn to talk rather than argue, girls. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. Did I make myself clear? Crystal. Mm -hmm. Okay, then. Now, get back to work. Ew! Your nails look like goblin tongues. At least my nails are real. <laughs> yeah, real ugly. Time for the salvia. Muscaria. Hey! Hey! I saw it first. Give me that! Uh, no way! Girls, I think you might want to... No! See? I told you that you used too much Eye of Newt. Then here, have some. Ah! I wish your listening skills were as sharp as your tongues. Oh, no. The Salvia muscaria herb. It's gone. All of it. It's the rarest herb known to which kind, and there's no way you can complete your assignment without it. can't go on to the next level. You should have been more careful. All your arguing without listening caused this. There's only one thing you can do. Go to the netherworld and try to find some more. Cool. This is the Salvia Muscaria herb. It used to flourish all over the netherworld. But through overpicking and carelessness, it has become nearly extinct. So you'll have to work together to find some. With your help, right? Wrong. I'll meet you back here in two hours. And remember, stay out of the gray area. Nothing there is what it seems. Winner takes all, Mephistoed. Yeah, well, I got friends here, Alley Cat. Lots of friends. So do I, fluffy butt. Come on, Mephista. What we don't have is that herb, and Mr. Snipe only gave us two hours to find it. We stand just as good a chance of finding it. I don't think so. Clippity-clop, clippity-clop, make Sabrina rooted to the spot. Ciao. Show Cassandra brain so small what it's like to be a living doll. Another world, Nancy. Brain not included. I'm very funny, half witch, but your half powers are no match for me here. Oh, she makes me so mad. Why didn't I bring a spell book with me? Don't go anywhere. Uh, what am I saying? I'll get some help. So, why did the turkey cross the road? I don't know. He didn't want to be chicken. <laughs> Listen, Icky, my man. Um, I need a little favor. Lucy, I'm home. It's about time, Salem. Hey, you're lucky I even came back. That Icky the Troll sets up a very nice notch. Oh, Salem, I hope Cassandra hasn't found the herb yet. Don't sweat it. I called in a favor from an old friend of yours. You can eat that. There it is. Come on, hurry. <laughs> I'm coming. 
coming, I'm coming. I bet Sabrina had something to do with this. Oh, I need to think of a spell to get us out of here. We'll make it quick. I'm not getting a warm, cozy feeling about this. You mean the mother dragon swallowed, then loogied them out? Oh, that's so gross. I know. Don't you just love it? I can't wait to get even with that little half-witch. Ugh, dragon spit totally gives you uh, split ends. <laughs> Bring it on, Cassandra. so many spells, it just got out of control. I'm so sorry, Salem. He's so creepy looking. Ugh, how could anyone like one of these things? What are we going to tell Mr. Snipe, Miss Know-It-All? Nothing, Half-Brain. There's gotta be another plan around here somewhere. We'll find it, then we'll cure these two. What? Speak a little loud. I'm a little deaf in this ear over here, right here with the haunting. Salvia Muscaria! Huh. If memory serves... Memory? What memory? I saw that bird. Herb, not bird. Herb. Who is Herb? Okay. We'll never find the Salvia Muscaria in this freak show. Gotcha. Thanks. I remember you. You saved me from that clone of yours. I remember. Follow this path to the Forgotten Bridge. But beware, the gray area is near, and you'll find what you see. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Any idea where we are? Uh, sure. Uh, somewhere in the netherworld, Smellman. Look, Cassandra, we don't have a lot of time left. Let's just call a truce, okay? Oh, okay. But don't tell anybody I made a deal with you or I'll turn you into a toad. Whatever. I just wish Salem was here. He could figure out where we are. <laughs> Salem, are you back? <laughs> Bucktooth. Fish breath. Stop it, you two. We called a truce and you can too. You called a truce? Give me a break. You expect me to buy that? Stuff it, beaver teeth. Hey, I'll turn you both back into stuffed animals if you keep it up. That herb is somewhere nearby and we need to find it. The Forgotten Bridge and fast. Okay, this is the northeast quadrant of the netherworld. I think you're nuts for being here. The gray area is not too far away. There's a fork in the road up ahead near Troll Town. We go left, and it should lead us to the Forgotten Bridge. Uh, any ideas on how to get across? That's a long way down. Oh. Uh -huh. This is not good. Well, for once I agree with the rat. I mean, cat. There's no way we're getting across. Let's go home. Hey, look, it's a salvia muscaria herb. The way I see it, we send the cat over. If he doesn't make it, we think of a new plan. Hold on a second here. I'm older and I'm a warlock. At least I used to be. 
That means I outrank you. Excuse me, who has the magic? Gee, you try to take over the world once and you end up paying for it the rest of your life. Hey, why don't we combine our magic? I bet it'll be strong enough to repair the bridge. You mean my magic, half witch? Yours isn't strong enough to clear up your pimples. I thought we had a truce, Cassandra. Look, we need to get that herb or we don't pass this assignment. <sighs> I'll try it myself. Riverwide bridge rickety. Wood and stone come together lickety splickety. Let me show you how it's done. Oh, pitiful bridge, once so proud. Come together without a doubt. Without a doubt? Doubt didn't rhyme with proud. And anyway, it's working, so what does it matter? For my superior magic, it was nothing to pull together a bunch of rotted wood and useless stones. That didn't sound good. You were saying? must have piggybacked onto my spell. And I guess it doesn't like the nasty names you called it. Yeah? Well, let's see it deal with this. Not... Let's just get out of here. <laughs> Run! There's no place to go. Yes, there is. The gray area. We're not allowed to go in there. Do you want to stay out here? Gray area? couldn't come into the gray area. <sighs> Salem once told me that the gray area operates on different magic. I figured the magic that created the monster wouldn't exist here. Does that mean that we don't have magic either? I don't know. Okay, we got in here, now how do we get out? You mean you've never been in the gray area? Well, technically speaking, no. Well, someone needs to lead us out of here. Okay, I guess it's up to me. <laughs> wow, you're not gonna believe this. What? what? Now this is more like it. Very nice. Awesome! Cool! We found it! I'll be rich! Oh, I'll never have to work again! Not that I do now, or ever plan to. If this herb is supposed to be so rare, how come there's so much of it? Sabrina, don't be a party pooper. Guys, no one's around anymore. Uh, where did everyone go? Oh, I'll quit school, and then I'll buy it, and, and name it after me! <laughs> oh, yes, fragrant herb. Together we will achieve greatness, and the world will be ours! <laughs> Not. Be fi fo familia. Who's that stealing my salvia muscaria? We're sorry, Mr. One Big Eye, uh, Mr. Cyclops. Who dares trespass in my kingdom? We didn't. I'll use my magic and take care of ugly here. 
But we don't even know what he wants yet. Hello? He's like a huge, revolting cyclops. He wants to grind our bones for his bread. I think that's what an ogre does. But he looks just as evil to me. He's not much in the looks department, huh? I'm rubber and you're glue. Whatever you say bounces off me and sticks to you. What happened? What? Let's just say you can kiss being the prom queen goodbye. What are you babbling about? I'll show you! Fiddle-dee-dee, fiddle-dee-dum! Zip! Hey! <laughs> ah! Hey! You're wrong about the bones, kitty cat. I do use them for my bread, too. And now, the piece de resistance. A dash of Salvia Muscaria. Do something, Sabrina. Needs <sighs> hmm. tongue of shrew. And I know just where I can get some. Why? You're not gonna use your magic on me, little witch? We didn't come here to hurt you, sir. Really. Well, you certainly hurt my feelings. Didn't anyone ever tell you to stay out of the gray area? Actually, yes. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to cook people? Ha! Ah, give me one reason why I shouldn't. Um, because it's not nice? But I'm not nice. I'm a cyclops. I'M SUPPOSED TO SCARE PEOPLE! <laughs> huh? You're not scared of me? Please, tell me why you're so angry at us, Mr. Cyclops. Well, who wouldn't be? You called me ugly, repulsive, revolting, and deformed. Oh yeah, and train eye. Th that was a new one to me. On behalf of my terribly rude friends, I apologize. I know how you feel, sir. Everyone in our group has been calling each other names all day long. I'm so tired of it. I know what it's like to be different. I'm only a half-witch. I get called a lot of nasty names because of that. I'm... I'm sorry. See? You don't want to eat us. Yes, I do. I'll make you a deal, Mr. Cyclops. Set us free, and we'll make you a meal you'll never forget. And no more name-calling. Hmm. I don't know. Most of the people who come to this part of the gray area call me some pretty hurtful names. And the only way to solve that is to hurt them first? That's wrong. If you talk it out, you might find that you're not as different as you think. Wow. That's heavy. Huh. Maybe I misjudged you. No longer zipped up shall she be. Now it's time to make her free. Sabrina, what are you doing? That gross one-eyed thing is going to eat us! I don't think I misjudged her, though. <laughs> You've got that right. Now, after that meal I promised, do you think we could borrow some of your salvia muscaria? Great work, girls! And not only were we able to get the herb from our new friend, Mr. Cyclops, who loved his dinner, I might add, now we can plant these seeds back in Greendale so we'll never run out again. How on earth did you manage that? We just had to learn to negotiate instead of name calling. That's all. So how did you know that creature didn't really want to eat us? He had a picture of his family on the wall, and he was trying too hard to be scary. And I remembered what Mr. Snipe said about talking things out. Well, I guess I owe you a thanks. He did save me, after all. But don't tell anyone or I'll... Turn me into a toad. I know I know.
Let's go.